what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here we're going to talk about terrifier 3 in this video here today we're going to go over this opening scene detail that has now been confirmed or at least it confirms that their very first teaser we got like a year ago at this point is in fact going to be an actual scene in the movie this came from david howard thorne himself david was asked about their first teaser we got that left everyone thinking art is going to kill a kid his comments now led to it being confirmed that the teaser is an actual scene in the movie but it could also eliminate the theory that this is sienna as a little girl but yeah the comments that he's now given in this new interview confirms that that very first teaser that we got is going to be an actual scene at least he didn't downright say it but it's like the wording it's safe to assume that he's basically like okay you're gonna see art kill a child in this in this movie he revealed this during an interview with david bennett i'll leave a link to the full interview down below in the description david howard thorne said the opening scene is going to be controversial he said he didn't want to say too much about it but we see glimpses of it in the most recent teaser as well with, with chrissy fox's character he referred to it as an extended look at the controversial opening scene now if i were to predict what he's talking about from the second teaser we've now gotten i could only catch a few things there was a glimpse of someone hiding in a room and art is taking an axe to the door to the room that they are in so it's a very quick flash you'd have to slow it down around the 15 second mark to catch it my best bet is this is the little kid's mom who comes downstairs to find art butchering up their baby and then we get a small chase scene between art and this mother chasing them around the household before the mother dies as well keep in mind Damien Leone has already told us Terrifier 3 is going to start right where Terrifier 2 left off. So if that's the case, it is a safe assumption that once Chris Jericho and the hospital crew get slashed, we're more than likely going to jump to this child's house, the child that we saw in the very first teaser for T3, and that's where all of the mayhem will unfold. The child is going to come downstairs thinking they're about to meet St. Nick. And all of that childhood joy is going to become their worst nightmare and they are not going to have a very long life. Like I said in my last video, I won't be one of the people whining about it online. I'm sure those of you listening that plan to watch this and can't look forward to see the reactions to this aren't going to be one of the people whining online either. But I'm sure those of us Terrifier fans who, en who are going to enjoy Terrifier 3 are going to be labeled every heinous word in the book all because it seems that terrifier 3 isn't going to be afraid to push a few buttons so if you're someone who wants to protect your peace i'm going to say right now you know there's going to be so many people who are out of the loop because the general public again is not studying this stuff the way we are they're not breaking down every little thing if you want to protect your peace and you're someone on twitter or any of these other platforms social media mostly twitter though or x whatever you want to call it start muting terrifier 3 or at least mute it the minute you see it because you know there's going to be some karens somebody else some kins they're going to go online they're going to whine about this opening scene as if an actual child has been killed and it's like bro chill the fuck out just chill out first of all don't even watch it let us enjoy what we want to enjoy and you enjoy what you want to enjoy you know it's coming so just prep for it now david did say he thinks it's a fun way to hook people at the start of the film. He also revealed that Art will have a higher body count, more creative kills. One he is thrilled about and can't wait for the reactions to it since he's never seen anything like it done in the movie. He did describe it as being hilarious, I think, as well. This is a very good interview, but I really was honing in on the disclosure of what he said at that very specific question of how it was phrased, which is what can he say about that that scene from the very first teaser and the fact that he didn't deny it as a scene is like oh so that's actually going to be in the movie art is going to kill a child and it's been confirmed by the actor himself without him using the exact words he didn't when the interviewer david himself because they're both named david asked him he didn't say it's not in the movie he just he just played along with it so strap in it looks like you're going to see art kill a child and you know again it's going to be a lot of controversial takes online you're going to see a lot of kins and karens trying to come down on horror fans you're probably going to see a lot of think pieces about how horror fans are the devil and all that good jazz whatever who gives a fuck but we also learned that terrifier 3's official trailer is going to be dropping 
this Wednesday at 10 a.m., I believe. Now, this was shared courtesy of Bloody Disgusting, who has a live feed up, or countdown anyway, to an uncensored trailer dropping for Terrifier 3. It's supposed to drop on Wednesday, August 28th at 10 a.m. Eastern, I think. I'll leave a link to that in the description as well. I'll actually leave a link to it in the comment section. I'll leave a link to the interview in the description. I'll leave a link to the trailer in the comment section so that way you guys can go wait if you want to wait around. But at the time at the time of this recording, it said it was about 38 hours away. It was supposed to be today. Now I will explain where the today thing came from. Some individuals, many, were being contacted about a trailer dropping today. Wanting them to get involved in all the hype. That's where Monday came from. What I think ended up happening with Monday is that those images that surfaced online late Saturday, late Sunday, one of the two, shifted trailer release plans. If not that, maybe there were some final touches, but the plan was indeed for them to drop it tonight. We're getting it on Wednesday. But at least you know it was supposed to drop this week. That's the least the most that's the most that's officially confirmed. It was supposed to drop this week. So we weren't trying to pull your leg too much. It was supposed to drop today. Something happened, and now it's coming on Wednesday. It's fine. Now, as far as what I expect to see in the trailer, I am hoping to get confirmation on Blaster Man. And if you're not familiar with Blaster Man, Blaster Man is the alleged character that Sienna's dad loved to draw when she was a little girl because he was into comic books. And the Angel Warrior costume that she wore in T2 was actually something he promised he would draw up as someone who could battle Blaster Man or something like that, I think. And that's some of the origins of that costume. You'll find out more about Sienna's father in the upcoming Terrifier 3. Again, all alleged because the movie's not out. I haven't seen the exact footage of it, but that allegedly is something that is going to be a factor. So hopefully on Wednesday, we get to see some glimpses of Blaster Man himself, if that's even going to still be a thing in the movie. Maybe we get to see glimpses of Eddie, the person who wants to start a bar fight with Art the Clown. Yeah, that's not going to end well, buddy. Apparently also, like I mentioned, there's supposed to be some sort of bat involved with that scene. So we're going to see someone take a bat up the wrong end, probably. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. You can never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.